Welcome to the stream. Time to get back into it. And once again, my mic is making a weird noise right as soon as I adjust it to my liking. So, I don't know what that is. I'm going to see if I can find something to fix that. But uh, anyway, let's not worry about it too much. We are going to get back into Tomb Raider Remastered. Um, we started up Tomb Raider 2 last time we streamed this, finished up the expansions for the original Tomb Raider, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on keeping on. We're going to keep going through 2 and hopefully be able to finish it. Um, this is a bit of a longer game than the original, and it's also got its own expansion that's part of this remastered collection as well. So uh, yeah, it's still, still going to take us a minute before we get through the entirety of this uh, collection of games, but still, make some decent progress, and hopefully we can chug along, uh, definitely gonna be kind of flip-flopping back and forth between this and, uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth when that comes out, but that's all right, gives me something to have a little variety with, but anyway, let's go ahead and start it up, and should be ready to go. Okay, let's see. Is the game capturing correctly? Seems like it is. Let me just do a couple checks here. I think we are all set. Yeah. Well, we finished up with the original, so let's go ahead and start loading up where we left off on number two, which looks like the Opera House. I gotta be honest, with some of the rest of this game, I'm not gonna be quite as familiar with it. I was pretty much well-versed in everything that uh, the previous levels had given us, but with, like, from the Opera House on, especially, I remember how obtuse the Opera House was. Um, it was, it could be a little awkward sometimes, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, give me a sec, I'm gonna unplug my mic and see if that might help here. Okay, don't know if that helped or not, but uh, something happened, so I guess we could be satisfied with that. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry for the delay. Let's see what we got going on here. Already, I remember this jump. You have to time it with the uh, box here. There we go. Somebody's shooting at me already. Of course, we talked about it last time, but one of the biggest criticisms of Tomb Raider 2 was the uh, fact that enemies could hit-scan you. I've got no clue where that guy was. Wasn't something that you really had to worry about too much with the original Tomb Raider? You didn't have too many enemies that had uh, ranged attacks like that? And even- whoa, what the hell? The walk button didn't work. That was weird. Maybe it doesn't work when you have the pistols out? I don't remember that being the case. Anyway, um, even enemies that did have ranged attacks, like the Atlanteans and such, they, you know, wasn't hit scan. I think the only, like, real enemies that you had to worry about with hit scanning attacks were, uh, the henchmen, uh, which included, like, Pierre and Larson and Kid and all them. Um, that might have been it. Yeah, I don't really remember anybody else, but yeah, when it came to, like, the Atlanteans with their ranged attacks and everything, uh, you know, my 
as we saw before, my number one method for trying to avoid them was like jumping back and forth so you could actually avoid their projectile shots. But, uh, oops. That did not put me up on the platform. But yeah, I guess this guy could see me. I can't see him. I don't know where he is. Oh. <laughs> See, I figured there'd be a platform there that I could actually get onto, but I guess not. Here he is. To a not so great start, but I will get my legs under me, I suppose. Oh boy. So, yeah, one of my bigger fears of going through this is there's gonna be some segments where I'm really not gonna remember where the uh, hidden treasures are and such. Uh, and those in particular are. Eh, I don't know. I don't want to say later playthrough in this game is dependent on them, but uh, it would definitely serve you well to try and find everything because, again, you have to find all three of the treasures if you want to get all those unlocks, which we've already gotten some decent stuff. I think that's how we ended up getting the shotgun. Um, although, I got to be honest, I mean, I, from like a random en enemy drop, I don't remember it being the case in the original. Maybe it was, but just like from some you know, random henchman enemy. Uh, we got some Uzis, so that was kind of neat. But I don't expect that to happen too often. Man, I cannot hit any of these backflips. Wondering if it's even... Here, let's try this. There we go. That unlocked something that we need to get to. Looks like this is a door, so that might correspond to it. Where is that, anyway? Oh, over there. Okay. I think we need to get back up to, the, like, the swinging crate thing. made it over here last time. Uh, I guess there wasn't anything here. <laughs> oh, come on. Good lord. You know what? At this point, let me just reload this and we'll see if we can do it a little bit better. I think right from the start, I might jump off though, see if we can get to this guy. around. surprised at how long some of the levels are finally got around to doing london um i guess we'll get to that when we get to it but oof. yeah london not one of my favorite levels or 
level hubs. I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, just like a series of levels that ain't great. Talked about it before, but like the Thames Wharf in particular is a bit of a pain to work through. Um, but even worse still, I think Lud's Gate, I think is what it's called. That was pretty bad, damn bad too, and I was surprised at how long it was. It has a cool little segment in it. Um, so to see it eventually i'm sort of looking forward to getting through some of it um there's a portion where you're in like a museum that i think is kind of neat but other than that it kind of it's kind of like an excuse to like have an urban level of sorts that don't work um but still kind of have like an old school sort of uh design with like the whole trap system and a bunch of other things even like pulls up the soundtrack from the original Tomb Raider because it all harkens back to like Egypt. So it was kind of cool to see that, but uh, other than that, yeah, that level is eh, it's a little rough going. Not a huge fan. But in Tomb Raider 2, I feel like there's some of those situations too where there's just like a lot, a lot of variety to one singular level, and you could spend, you know, if you're not, especially if you're not familiar with it, like an hour or more uh, trying to navigate it. So. see how it ends up working but I don't know some of these levels especially the ones I'm not too familiar with not exactly looking forward to doing oh, shit <laughs> this guy's like right on me Yes, indeed. Can't even see what's in here. Is there anything? No? <laughs> Waste of a flare, I guess. Kind of hoping with the whole new lighting engine that they've been using with this game that some of the areas wouldn't be as dark, but actually it's like sort of this weird reverse effect where there's a lot of like dark areas in the remaster version that weren't even dark in the original, but I think I've seen a few where it's like uh, just... Slightly easier to see in some regards. I remember especially. I don't. I don't think it was this case on the uh, the PC releases, but um, okay. Back here again, eh? Uh, but anyway, I was taking a look at some of my old recordings uh, that I did a couple of years ago from the original Tomb Raiders uh, that were released on PlayStation, and boy, some of them got dark, especially in this game. I think this game was probably the worst offender for having like overly dark levels um apparently god i always miss that jump been missing it a bit lately um but anyway um apparently had something to do with i don't know there was some sort of capability with the playstation with its uh color gamut and also the fact that it was designed to run on crts that uh, could do kind of like this true black coloration which is nice and everything, I suppose, but um, still, I think when it's absolutely pitch black and you can't see what you're doing without using a flare, that, eh, not the best design. <laughs> I would like to see at least a little bit of something, like, sure, if I'll need to use a flare to, like, avoid pitfalls and traps and, you know, maybe find some keys or something like that, but outside of that, I don't know. started this game that it was sort of uh, not confused by I guess because I recognized it pretty damn quick but um, you have to watch out for like other things that aren't just like spikes that can kill you you drop on this glass it basically serves the same purpose as spikes this looks like shredded paper in the original Oh, 
I wonder if I can break through that. I don't know how I'm supposed to get down there. I could try to long jump it, but then at the same time, that might actually end up killing me if I get up there and... Let me see. Can I even get back to that point? Yeah, I can. The only thing is, though, if I drop from this ledge here, if I'd be able to grab onto the ledge down below, I don't know how well that would work. Let's see. Oh yeah, it does work. Alright. Now the real question, can I step down onto this without killing myself? Okay, good. <laughs> I could break through the other glass panes, too. Yeah, I was thinking like a long jump might be a little bit too risky. Uh, probably wouldn't be the most advisable thing. I don't think those go anywhere. Operates just like the spikes if you walk through and not uh, run through. You don't take any damage. Just getting started. Let's see what the skybox looks like. Oh, hey, it's this skybox again. Damn it, they reused it. <laughs> I expect things to be brand new. Although, um, I guess there was no skybox in the originals, so... It's something different. I actually like this one. I don't know. I like the kind of, like, dusk look. Uh, but they used it uh, in the Temple of the Cat levels, the Return to Egypt. It's rather nice there. Turn the Egypt ones had kind of like a star field in the background. I want to say that the, that expansion for Tomb Raider 1 came out like two years after um, the original game did. I think it was a while before Tomb Raider Gold came out. Like they didn't make it just like one year after or a few months after. I don't remember if they... I definitely don't remember the, the expansion for this one, the Golden Mask. I don't remember too much information about it. I think those wood panels... drop? Okay, some of them do. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, the side hop isn't that great. It stops you dead in your tracks. cases where you don't really have a whole lot of time to, like, prep your jumps. You have to, like, be at the ready. I was gonna say, I don't remember there being, like, string lights there. I guess it's cool. Three in a row. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think I hear something. Oh, there it is. I hear something else walking. Shit. Sending everybody after me, I guess. Surprisingly, didn't lose that much health. Uh -huh. New vocal cues for Lara. Uh huh.
And some complaints about the lighting and stuff ruining the atmosphere uh, that the original produces, but I don't know. So far, I've been liking what I've been seeing. I think that's kind of the case for a few of the levels I remember from uh, the original game. A lot of stuff in Greece in particular I thought ended up looking not as good in the remastered version, but um, so far with two, I've been liking it. glass. Is that, like, just a trap? <laughs> I guess it is. Nothing in there except for glass. Alright. Again, a little worried just because with this one in particular, I think this level... It's like I remember one, one of the dragon statues, but not all of them. So I'm kind of wondering what the situation is going to be like with them. Oof, 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 oof. I didn't know that would hit me quite as hard as it did. I was thinking, eh, I might take a little bit of damage if I scrape up against it, but it shouldn't be too bad. I didn't know that it would like dock the entirety of my health. aspect is going to be a lot more of a challenge in this one. Tomb Raider 1, you didn't have to worry about enemies too much until you got into the, uh, the last final levels in Atlantis. Yeah, every once in a while, maybe like a mummy or something might do something to you, but definitely wasn't anything to get too worked up about. Large health kit. I think that was better than what he dropped last time. Actually, I don't think he dropped anything last time, uh -huh. so it's a little bit better. Those other two enemies pop out from somewhere, but I got no clue where they came from. running away from me. Uh -huh. Hey, what's up, Hanto? Good to see uh -huh. you. Glad you got a glass of milk before you turn on the stream and smell the cake. Gotta get ready for it, huh? <laughs> we haven't even had a good look yet. Okay, that ended up working a lot better. Pre-gaming. The pre is flowing, is it not? Uh-oh. Is he going to be able to get up here? I got all these shotgun shells. Nothing to use them on. Let's see if he gets in here. He's grunting like he's doing something. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've heard an ass make a sound quite like that. There's not too many ass sounds you can make. But maybe just like the tightness of the shorts 
Yeah, I, okay, yeah. <laughs> now I see what you're saying, yeah. Sounds like a, you know, like a tight leather glove. It's just like all up on those creases. Shotgun uh -huh. shells back, thanks. Someone's farts sound like that. They definitely need to see a physician. That sphincter's too tight. All right, let's make a save. I don't think there's anything else to do in this particular area, so we could probably move on into the actual opera house. This is where it gets fun, quote unquote. You ever play any of these games, Hanto? Or are you just an admirer? Oh boy. So we're already seeing a slew of things here. An admirer, I see. That's alright. Alright, there's... I was say, I don't remember that chandelier. That chandelier is kind of neat, though. It is not in the original, apparently. Let's render us in once we get in there. Um, I remember there being like a bunch of boulders inexplicably here. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Look at them waiting for us. There's some doors there. they go. Alright. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. I'll just switch over here. Yeah, I like that with remasters. When they do stuff like that, you can see what the original version looked like. And granted, it's not 100% accurate, but it's close enough. Um... I played the, when I played these games last, I played the PlayStation versions, which look a bit uh, muddier, murkier, a little darker. Uh, and even with the remastered version, switching over to the old school original mode, it, um, it looks a lot cleaner than it did uh, if you were a console player. But it's still, still basic, you know, representation of what the game originally looked like. Whoa. Normally I like to keep all the action in the remastered version, but that guy gave me no choice. Here's some bastard's footsteps. Somebody's trying to walk up on me. It's a dog. Okay. Now that we're in the opera house, it gets a little more challenging and a little bit more confusing. This is like where the uh, level starts to sort of get more complex as opposed to just kind of being a singular goal, getting to one place or the other. But there's a lot of different things we need to keep track of. There's no. this right here needs something. There was the control box that we entered when we first got into the uh, opera house. Oh, Rip Doggo, sorry. <laughs> Puts a dour mood on chat. Um, and there's like a circuit board over there that needs uh, something, I guess, some sort of insert. Can you bury the dogs? Give them a good send-off. Unfortunately, I do not think so. We can uh, cam on them to look at their 
glorious models though. It's a good send off, right? <laughs> you can observe what they look like. Oh yeah, they're Dobermans. I think it's pretty accurate. Um, they tend to use Dobermans, I guess, just because of their attack dog nature. But usually, when you have dog enemies, they tend to be Dobermans. Every once in a while, I'll see something like a German Shepherd, but it's rare. Um, trying to think, in Tomb Raider 3... Oh boy, I think they have German Shepherds, but uh, they're like... They got like mange or something. I don't know. They're like hairs falling out. It's real weird looking. And your favorite dogs, Dobermans or the German Shepherds? What we also got to look out for is where the dragon statues are. I got to be careful about not passing those up. Oh, the Dobermans. <laughs> well, sorry but I can guarantee you that there's going to be more deaths. This guy walking around here with a bat like he's going to accomplish something. Uh, my family's always been dog people. We've never... I think my mom owned cats at one point in her life, but at least as far as I've ever been alive, uh, nobody in the family has ever owned cats. Always had a dog, though. Multiple dogs, usually. So, yeah, definitely more of a dog person. Although... I do like having kind of more exotic pets these days, especially stuff that, uh, you know, doesn't require as much attention. <laughs> uh, favorite breed? I don't know. I like, I like a few, but I like German Shepherds. I like Shiba Inus. I like... Um, we had a husky that I loved growing up, but I hear they're temperamental, so I only have experience with mine. <laughs> I've, I've not really dealt with anyone's other, like, anyone else's husky, so. Um, beagles. I don't know if I have, like, one, strictly one, like, outstanding breed that I would like to say is my favorite absolute favorite but you know several uh, I had a number of things but you know I like keeping a fish tank I like um, some reptiles snakes bearded dragon um, some birds that kind of depends on the individual personality I had a I had a nice cockatiel uh, when I was growing up but um, Sometimes some some of those birds can get a little squawky, so uh, especially if they're like really really vocal, um, I tend not to prefer that. Had a canary for a short while. I adopted one, but um, I think she got egg bound and she died pretty quickly, which was kind of sad. Not too too much you could do about that either. It's like I remember it's like a vet recommendation of like put. To, Giving them Pedialyte to drink. Whoa! I remember that set of rocks. But, you know, I think we had done that, but it just it was kind of too late. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, sometimes dogs and cats can be a little too, um, I don't know, involved. Also, don't like uh, getting too attached, just losing them. The loss process is uh, it's a little rough. Um, in my teens into my twenties, I had a ferret, uh, 
uh, which I really liked, but there's another situation where the uh, the loss really hit hard. It's a real fun though. It's like having a, it's like having a kitten that doesn't grow up. <laughs> they're very, very playful. They got a lot of personality, uh, and they're very hyperactive. But um, gotta watch out where they go, because they could get into no. weird stuff. He's on different types of scorpions. I used to work with a guy that was like really, really into in uh, like insects and you know bugs and stuff like that but um never owned one myself it was kind of interesting but i didn't like the uh i don't like stuff where you have to feed them live and it's not necessarily that i find live feeding gross um you know such as like snakes and stuff although you could get frozen foods for them same with other reptiles too but it's not necessarily the um it's not necessarily them eating the live food but it's more like keeping the live food it's like keeping another it's like you have to like watch out for some other animal's life <laughs> in order to feed the one that you're already taking care of. And it's like that, even with like insects and bugs and stuff, that still <sighs> applies to keeping like, you know, crickets or whatever. You have to live feed scorpions. Yeah, I've done it a few times. Worked at a pet store for a long time, so. are annoying to keep. Yeah, not a big fan. Plus, they kind of smell. So I remember the rats being bigger in this game. And I guess, like, kind of, maybe just a little bit, but I don't know, maybe it's just like the, the model looks chunkier or something. Oh, you son of a bitch, how can you even hit me from there? Laura, God damn it. Oh shit. It's like she gets distracted with the rat. I'm chasing after this dude <laughs> who's got a gun. And then she's like, oh shit. Put a few rounds into that rat while I'm walking by. windows that I could shoot through. Yeah, unfortunately, the, that's the biggest criticism with this uh, game in particular, is um, hit-scanning enemies, and they can hit you from all sorts of wacky angles, but hit-scanning enemies means, you know, there's no projectile that you could avoid. It's just they fire at you, and you take damage. That's it. Well, point blank is a little bit different because you're like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, you're kind of like rolling away from him. So I guess that sort of works out like that. I don't know. Like they have enemies, enemies in Tomb Raider games have incredibly bad turning radius. They cannot turn around very fast. So if you can outmaneuver them, that's your best bet. But if you're at a distance, and especially if they're you know, a hit scan enemy, then you're kinda out of luck. I don't know where this box is supposed to go. Apparently nowhere. I wonder if I can push it out, like onto this block, because you normally can't do that. You couldn't do that in any of the in the first Tomb Raider. I can't do it here either, alright. I think most places probably don't sell venomous snakes. At least I don't see them too often. <laughs> but, I don't know. I guess you could have one mailed to you or order one by special request or something. 
But yeah, I don't don't think that the uh, venomous snakes are too common to actually own. Usually most snakes that are available on the market to like purchase are gonna be like constrictors or pythons. Stuff that usually doesn't like bite or has any sort of toxins. Yeah, breeders. All right. What are we looking at here? I still don't know what the purpose of that box is. Looks like we've got instant death. So that's cool. say this spot seems a lot brighter than it was in the original Avoided, I handily avoided death that first jump, but that second one, she, yeah, it sucks. She went down the ramp backwards, and um, I tried to flip jump on the way out, but it didn't work. Sometimes you, you can't quite tell which way she's going to turn. Like when she hits a, uh, let me see if I can do it this way. There you go. That worked better, actually backflipping onto the thing, that might be the ticket. But yeah, sometimes you can't tell which way she's gonna slide down a ramp, which is a problem. You now the dating scene is for people that own them. I can imagine having a chick over and then being like, eh, just a heads up, got a black mamba in the other room. <laughs> I knew a guy that was kind of dorky, but he had a bunch of, um, a bunch of, like, snakes and stuff, and when he started dating a girl, she wasn't super into it, but I think she liked him enough that she sort of tolerated it, so, I mean, like I said, this depends on the relationship. <laughs> oh, boy, I don't know if, I don't know if a straight jump is going to work. Side rolling jump did all right. I think I got a backflip onto this because there's no way I could grab onto that. Okay, all right, that works. He's like, yeah, grabbing onto this shit is gonna shred me up, no doubt. She had it for a while. I think what she had was a ball python, and those guys can live like, you know, 20, 30 years, if not a little bit more. So, you know, sometimes it's the girl that <laughs> got all the weird tastes. But yeah, like she was way into him. Alright, first dragon statue. I didn't think a jump was going to work. I thought I was going to bounce back and then, like, right into the thing. Ah, 
that's all right. I'll try it again. <laughs> Thank you. Your concern is touching. Like grabbing this, it's so damn close. I'm surprised she doesn't like tear herself up. I guess just dropping down would probably be the best bet. Dropping down, just flipping back up because that seems to work more than anything else. kind of key do we get? We do just an ornate key. Not really very descriptive there, but... I hear somebody. Get my automatic pistols out. Yeah, I should probably take a... Medipack here, too. Oh, he's coming down. Or something's happening. I don't know what's going on. I guess he's up there somewhere. There he is. Oh, I think I see what I need to do. Okay. So I need to do this. That's it, Laura. Work it. Runs a lot harder in, the, in this game. She didn't seem to be uh, straining herself quite as bad in the first one. Yep. Okay. So now that works as its own platform, meaning I can push this one on top of it, and then we have a way to get back up. And that's all it's there for. This asshole over here might even use it to his own advantage. Let's see if he actually gets on the damn thing. A lot of times they won't come down if it means that, you know, they're going to be dropping a couple squares or something, but this guy doesn't seem to be taking the bait. Give me anything? You cheap bastard. Look at your ugly face. That's a pretty decent recreation. God, he's a lot more, he looks a lot more jacked in the uh, original version. All right, well, we got the ornate key. I don't remember seeing any locks, I don't think, but I think we could potentially get to some new areas um, by going up the stage. Or there might be something up here, too. Oh yeah, there's this. I don't remember if I saw this before, but let's take a look and see what it does. Okay. So this gets us... Oh shit. <laughs> An easy way back into the entrance. These jumps, I tell you. I 
kind of looks like there's supposed to be some boulders up here. It's just pitch black. I can't tell what's up there. That might be a trapdoor or something. Doesn't quite look round. Uh, anyway, we don't have any other... No, we don't. We don't have any other key items, so... I don't think the... Entryway back to the beginning is going to serve us, so we'd need it eventually because we need to get back up to those rooms, but I don't think that's necessarily what we need to do right right now. However, we should... Yeah, here we go. Be able to get on stage, sir. Oh, Jesus. Might be something over here we can interact with. Sorry. It's me or them. And I'd rather it be me. <sighs> I hear footsteps. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, but then we'd never be able to finish the game. You do want me to finish the game, don't you? Uh -huh. Besides, if Lara's dead, you will no longer get to look upon that ass. Just exactly how many of those sandbags are there? I'll try and trip them all up. There's two of them. Well, gave me that idea. I don't know. Foolish musings, I guess. Uh, if I can't step on the sandbags, which I don't think I can. <laughs> Changed your mind, eh? Um, <laughs> well... I've had to do the old interview where you do the sales pitch, so that might weigh into things. There's that little edge there, but I think maybe that might be... I don't know. That might be related to something else, because... I definitely can't get up there just from this point. anything from any of these sections here. Oh! I actually remember where all the dragon statues are. There's one that's like up out up there somewhere, so we need to figure out how to get up back up to the top to that section. But there is also oh, maybe I could jump up here. There's also one under the water that's underneath the stage. Master salesman. <laughs> yeah, there's basically zero advertising for this game, so uh, 
And me pitching ideas about Lara's ass is the best advertising this game's had since uh, its inception, I guess. first level of this game and the first night we have this but um, the spiders in this game are definitely broken I don't know if somebody missed like a decimal point in the coding or what but uh, the spiders take like 12 shots to kill damn near thought they were invincible but I discovered they were dying after a long while you just need to plug in a lot of shots with them uh, however good thing is like most of these rats and stuff seem to be dying relatively quickly no, 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 those weren't spiders. I just, you know, there's a vermin enemy. <laughs> and it's like some of the vermin enemy seem to die quicker than others. But the spiders in particular are really bad. Well, guess we weren't supposed to grab that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but those were rats. Reload that. That seems weird. Okay, no, I think you're supposed to get into the water. Didn't know that spiders were bulletproof in real life. Well, I suspect that they're hard to hit, but bulletproof, I did not. But the original game must have got it wrong then, because in the original game, you could kill spiders in like one shot. Alright. Takes care of that door up there. And here, we get our second dragon statue third incoming, sooner or later. Yeah, if I could step on them in the game, that would be nice, but unfortunately the game does not allow you to do that. If you could just, like, walk on them. I know that works in some games, but I didn't think to do it here. And the spiders just, like, jump on you and start, like, eating you. It's not, not very fun. What's this? Uh -huh. I don't know what the hell it looked like in the original, but it certainly didn't look like what it looks like in the remaster. This is a relay box, so that might go into the um, entry point of the opera house. Although, we did see that other box that was kind of near an elevator, so it could go in there too. I don't know. But actually, would it really be a waste with Lara? Because her pistols have infinite ammunition, so... You know, when she doesn't need to... There's nothing to waste. Is it a waste? Oh, that door. Okay, so we already cleared that. But we got the key item that was in there, so that's good. Now I think we need to get back down. I need to go through those double doors. Unless I plug the relay thing into here. I don't know exactly where it goes, so let's see. Oh, 
Oh, it does work. Okay. Good lord. It's like three times as big as when we picked it up. Well, it is a new release, so I'm not terribly surprised. Tomb Raider also has a pretty big following just in general on Twitch, I feel. There seems to be a lot of Tomb Raider fans. I know when I was streaming a couple of years ago, I was getting a lot of people coming in to watch, uh, which was nice. But that was when I was doing the, uh, the original versions of the game. So something brand new like this, I can imagine people want to take a look at, you know, some bigger name streamers. It's also the original games as well, so... Hey, there's a dragon statue. Well, thank you. I know you don't mean that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, we got Uzis. Um, I got an achievement for that, too. Codex of Italy. But, um... Tomb Raider is big with like the speedrunning crowd, and Tomb Raider is also big with um, special run uh, people, people that want to do like, you know, no health uh -huh. items or uh, no special guns or I don't know, just a bunch of like weird stipulations. So there, there's because there's a lot of different things you could do to beat this game without just playing a vanilla. The only one you watch, so you do. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's got it's got a pretty big following just because of the amount of variety that people, you know, can play this game to. Oh shit. Oh wow, I still died. Surprisingly. I wonder if I can. I can do that nice. Okay, so outside of the bullets and getting the gold dragon statue, we opened up this door. Oh man, you could, there's some, I've seen some crazy things you could do with the speedrunning too. And like glitch free, the, the games you can glitch out to a certain extent because there's some stuff even I've done like unknowingly, like corner glitching and stuff. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's an older platforming game, so there's bound to be some hiccups with the coding and, you know, some unforeseen stuff. But, um, in particular, like a lot of how the map is laid out, uh, it allows for, and I, I don't think it was intentional in how the, the maps were designed, but just the way that they are, it allows for the movement system to be kind of abused and you can like speed through a lot of these levels really really quickly there's some stuff that like I would like to try but you know my skill level is not up to point not up to par with that but they even time you like at the level end once you finish a level they tell you how long you it took you to beat it, so... You know, anytime a game's got a timer like that on it, people always gotta try to find a way to speed through it. I wonder if there, this, there might be something else, because I don't think there's anything else up here that we can do until we get the uh, backdrop down. Because we can kind of see over here, there's this backdrop. And I don't think I can do a long jump there. I was pretty much like right on point with that and it didn't seem to grab onto anything. So what is this? It's like a door that leads nowhere. I don't know what that is. The elevator we undid though. using this my own personal drone I'm in luck because you told people who do games done quick that I'm interested in running this game <laughs> I'm interested in getting last place in all speed running efforts for Tomb Raider 
That's my goal. It's ambitious, I know. I really don't think that actually did anything outside of just get us the those like little extra tidbits, but there's nothing else around here. that which opened up that door and then there's nothing else we could do it's like get back on top here but there's nothing up here that we can interact with or anything actually I don't even know if we can get back on top to that that might be a bit too much of a height difference so yeah I'm not exactly sure Let me check the water portion in here, because there might be something I missed. God, I love this stupid feature. <laughs> it was not meant to be used in this fashion, but I'm using it anyway. I got the dragon statue that was over there. Um, there was... Is there another route in the water? Is there something up here? My guess is there's got to be another pickup somewhere, some sort of key item, um, a circuit board or something, because something goes into the entryway. I don't think we get up on top of here until real, real late, because that should be leading us to the level exit. So there's something else going on. I just don't know what exactly it is. I just got, I got no clue where that pickup is either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Okay. I don't know if like the capsule was loose inside my mic or what, but something was making like a weird, weird noise when it just even gets like tapped. So that goes to the level exit. Let me see, was there anything up here? I feel like we got everything else. There's that switch. I think that's what opened up like this segment though. I don't know, kinda odd. down there. I don't wonder if I go up top here if I could like a long jump instead of sliding down the ramp but maybe like long jump and the extra height will give me some kind of advantage. Outside of getting something on that control panel. Help. 
was wondering if maybe like extended the little drawbridge thing, but I don't think that's what it's meant to do. She got close, but that was like with the swan dive. I still, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. The swan dive got her like really far out there though. I remember getting to the base. Um, there's that section that we came across kind of midway through the level where we were running across those loose wooden boards and like at the bottom of that I seem to remember getting out on the floor there but I don't recall how to actually get there there's also could be like a section I'm missing here I get up here I wonder if I could run off into that balcony Looks like I can. <laughs> wonder if I should try it. The fact that these doors opened up too, I wonder if... Hmm. There's something I can get that way. I don't know. I got a couple ideas, but I don't know if they're going to pan out to anything in particular. Just the fact that those opened up though, I mean, I know that we need to do something in that control panel. I just don't remember what exactly. Maybe opening up one of the, since we have an entry there, maybe opening up one of those doors opens up something else down here. That could be it. Ooh, almost. <laughs> I feel like I almost went in. If I can manipulate or jump like maybe a little bit earlier or something like that, I might be able to get into that little, that little box there. What's supposed to be done though? Gotta figure out something else. Okay, so let's go back over here. I'm going to see about closing up one of those doors and see if it affects something out in the main, like, lobby area. Actually, you know what? We had to flip these switches. So maybe f flipping one back up again. What does that do? I don't even know what they do to begin with. music played <laughs> but I was gonna say I don't know if it does that like every time I think it might however there 
is a chance that it might affect something. a switch down there. I wonder how we get that operational. Maybe, no, this doesn't correspond to that elevator. But maybe get on underneath like the elevator segment. If I could get that switch going. So I get it back up there again. switching back to the original mode too to see just in case if there's like something I'm missing because sometimes the original visuals I don't know it could either like trigger a memory or uh, potentially I could see something a little bit better in the original version that has happened before with a couple switches uh, and like you know obviously the keys and stuff we were talking about in Tomb Raider 1 the big issue everybody was having with the damn keys not being able to see him let me bring this back up see if that's even possible this might be it okay I think it might have something to do with the elevator down. Alright. I think we're back in business. Ah, this is the ground floor. Actually, we can hotkey this. Ugh. Uh-huh. <sighs> See, and here's those wood panels I was talking about. They're from the upper floor when we were running across them. But we hit that switch. Oh, I guess that pulls the elevator back up. Ah, now we have access to the water. Yeah, see, I knew there was something. I mean, I, you know, especially once I saw the switch down there, but... Okay. We pull this, and what happens? Great. That opens up. Just catch my breath real quick.
a lot of flare. It's still a little hard to see. Oh, here we are. Okay, so now we're underneath the stage. And here's this. Uh -huh. That is a circuit board, I think. Yep. So that's what goes into that control box. And then something happens after that. I think the backdrop may raise up. Pretty sure that's what we're looking at for. I figured that would work, I guess not. got raised or anything. There it goes. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> Bumped her head. She'll be alright. She didn't even take any damage. Access back here. Jesus. I'm surprised that it like nudged me slightly. I'm surprised I didn't take damage. Okay then. came out of nowhere plus a dog uh -huh. too high oh uh, you're gonna get on my ass too first honto now you what's up Daler? how you doing Everybody upset because I'm killing the Dobermans. How far have you gotten in uh, Tomb Raider 2? I know this was the one that you were playing, but I don't think we ever discussed uh, what progress you made. Although you did say you were having uh, you didn't have a whole lot of time to dedicate to it. I've been trying to get through three. Um, that was the one that I probably think I struggled with the most, but I also really liked the uh, the challenge. And uh, finally got through London. What a shit show of a level. Or levels. But uh, it was still fun. <laughs> there's all these little inlets here. I feel like there's something in them, but... Uh, 
Oh, look at the. Okay, so there's this. You played a little more of one, the two was your favorite. I just finished one up on stream the other day. We also did uh, the expansions too, which. Oh boy. That, uh, the first one, Unfinished Business, was. Ooh. <laughs> it was a little rough. Got through it though. Ah, we need to get through here. Thank you, Akira. I appreciate the lurk. Hope you're doing well. That might do something with the upper part with that little portion of the backdrop, I think. Two, you know, I gotta say, when I... I remember specifically... Oh, that brought the backdrop back down. Okay. Uh, I remember specifically when I wrapped up playing all the Tomb Raider games, two was the one that I thought I wanted to replay the most. I think after the years, I kind of felt more like replaying one and then three because one, I don't know, it's kind of a classic, but three, I think I probably struggled with the most. Oh yeah, the graphic design looks great. I love, um, I like the, the uh, model in particular. I think they did a good job with Lara. Like capturing that, uh, it's not even just like the in-game model, but like capturing that, uh, you know, her old CG. Anytime they do like a promotion or something for Tomb Raider, they use like that CG model that didn't quite look like the, you know, video game, but it's kind of its own unique thing. Yeah, the chandelier's brand new. Unless something was happening up there. But yeah, the chandelier is not in the original. I also hear some like feet shuffling around. I don't know where that's coming from. But the chandelier looks good. I think there was a chandelier in um, the Maria Doria. I was walking around down there. So they added some nice stuff. I've been, I noticed in three in particular that there was a lot of like additional foliage. So they added like a bunch of plants and stuff. It's all sharp. But um, I think they did a pretty decent job. I've heard that some of the expansions didn't get as good of a treatment. Like they were kind of like rushed out, but I don't know. I haven't had a chance to experience them myself. Hopefully it's nothing too egregious, but there's been complaints. Ah, here we go. Supposedly they are working on a patch. Um, you know, it's funny. You picked up on those spiders right away. I haven't barely heard. And I've been keeping my ear to the ground. I've been watching the forums and stuff, seeing what people are talking about. That is true. People do like to cry. Um, but I've been keeping, you know, a pretty good eye on what people think of the game. And, like, there's been a lot of complaints about people not being able to see keys in the first one, which I agree with. I think that was kind of a big issue. Um, but there were also, you know, a number of other complaints, but nobody complained about the spiders. It's like you and me, we both kind of, like, noticed what the hell's going on here. They, they weren't, like, this hard to hit, but nobody complained about the spiders until probably a few days ago I started seeing more complaints about them rise up, and I'm like, okay. I don't know if people are just like finally getting around to playing two or if like nobody really thought it was unusual, but yeah, it's strange. They're not invincible. They just take like, that was a bad hit. They take like a dozen hits or more in order to kill them. So kind of shitty that way. See what the best thing to do here would be. I don't even know if that like had anything to do with it because I remember you mentioned that and I did it too, but I still it's like sometimes I don't know it might have worked in some instances because I remember I remember switching and it seemed like they died a little bit quicker, but then sometimes I switched and you know nothing super different was happening. Oh, this bastard. Let's see if the sh 
shotgun works a little better. I don't even remember fighting this guy on the ground. I seem to remember, like, I don't know what I did. I think I got like on top of the boxes. I think he needed to kill him though. So I think he's got something. <laughs> That's the kind of voice he made. <laughs> We got grenades from him. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's secretly weak. Putting on that strong facade with his face paint and huge biceps. I wear my sunglasses at night. And so does Lara. I try to put it anytime I reload the level, I'm holding down those L1 and R1 keys so I can put them back on her. I noticed that the, at least on PC, I don't think you could do it on console unless you could like somehow download it. Yeah, which it would probably be possible nowadays anyway, but somebody made a uh, mod where you could change her outfit because like you go into photo mode and it's like you could change her outfit on the fly but just for photos um but somebody made a mod where once you pick it here it like carries over into the main game which i thought was cool but uh, i haven't installed it yet so i'm a sucker for costumes and shit Best thing of that Legends game. I didn't think that Legends game was all that great, but um, had like a shitload of costumes and stuff. That you could unlock by doing, you know, certain whatever. Oh, you know what? I don't think that guy ever had anything. I think what I did was I just avoided him and jumped up on these crates because I think all that happens is you unlock that door and then the level ends as soon as you hit that up. It's like I didn't want to waste my ammo. A bunch of other stuff though. At least I got those grenades. And the grenade launcher, I guess. Even one you can pick pretty much all outfits in viewer mode. From all three? Really? Wait, in which one? Tomb Raider 1? I don't even remember I have an alternate outfit that fits. That's Skybox. Now oh, look. It's like some Venetian thing in the original. So that almost looks like Meryl. What is that? <laughs> Oh, then it turned into, like, Britney Spears, so I don't like it as much. Oh, okay, in photo mode in one. Yeah, no, I, okay, I get what you mean now. Yeah, you can pick all your outfits here, but, um, I think it carries over in all the games. You can just, like, for whatever photo you want, you can just pick all of them. But, yeah, the, the ability to actually keep it, you know, when you get back into the game, like, dropping out of photo mode would be nice. It'd be nice, like, to just have that as a feature without having to mod it in. Yeah, we're gonna be getting up to one of the worst levels in this game. Also, I don't know about you, Daler, but could you ever, like, when you played these games originally, did you ever understand what the fuck these people were saying? Because I know I didn't. So it's nice to have the, uh, <laughs> the subtitles. Believe me, 
but it's not quite the same now, is it? Someday you will get a speeding ticket for the ton, Fabio. Hey, it's just a gut feeling that um, maybe. See what it looks like in the original. To look there. Is your belief so fragile? I just mean in general, not necessarily this particular scene, but like I remember the guy at the beginning. Uh, that you confronted the Great Wall. I didn't know what he was saying. Like, Tommy gun on my key ring. I did not know that's what he said. And then playing through Tomb Raider 3, there's so many people that use, like, hard English dialect. Like, weird English terms. Like, British terms that I've never heard of. And I did not know what they were saying until I played through with the subtitles. to be sought by the one, his son. You understand? Have faith, Fabio. Not God, Rod. We are searching the right place. I know it. I believe it, Marco. Good. Heroes, have you fixed that rail yet? See. See. We got it. Took us an hour, but we got all the secrets and all the pickups. Basically said, go cook me dinner. <laughs> Boy, look at that ocean. It's like trash bags. Yeah, waking up with a splitting headache, no doubt. Gotta switch it to uh, original during the cutscenes because there's some like stuttering that goes on, unfortunately. All right, one of many uh, breakout scenes. Weapons got taken away, but we still have ammunition, so that's good. There's the, uh, the section in Tomb Raider 3, uh, particularly in the London... Well, actually, there's a couple. There's one dude in the South Pacific, um, and I think he's English, if I remember right, and I don't remember what the hell he was saying. And then there's also, like, the tribesman. He was hard to understand. Uh, the people in the London, like the, like the ones in particular, like in the sewer section, I didn't know what the hell those guys were saying. So, it was nice to have the subtitles this time around because I can actually get a read on what they're talking about. Some other stuff too. Like I said, the uh, guy at the very beginning cutscene of this game. And I don't even remember what he said. But like I was reading it and I'm like, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? I didn't get the whole Tommy gun on my key ring thing, but I, uh, I certainly read it. I think this is like a timed thing. easy to understand. It's mostly the people with the accents around her. Like 
Usually, Lara's voice actress, she, um, she speaks relatively clearly. But some of these other guys, man. Hard to get a read on. Okay, let's try this. I want to stereotype him. <laughs> I think that's exactly what was going on. sounds. Whoa! Okay. Remember that being the case, oh god. than this but every time they have like these um like breakout segments they always want you to do some weird wacky shit to get out i just remember that you needed the guy to actually shoot out the window so i was a little worried when i had that guy with the melee thing can you roll through the glass i don't remember that I'll give it a try next time statues are. So. Eh, maybe some other method. I just ain't getting it right. Okay. There's definitely a way you could do it because I remember getting an achievement for um, using Lara. Because there, there's one where it's like, use Lara to break through a window. So it might be like jumping or something. I'm not too sure. I know I did it. I don't remember where I did it. I think I did it in Venice. Might also be maybe uh, it doesn't like, tr oh god, it doesn't trigger when you break it. I don't know. These games be funky sometimes. Thank <laughs> you. 
what is this? Now I forget. Yeah, okay, it turned off the engine, that's what I thought, but... When I took a look at the side there, it didn't seem like something I could actually grab onto. Maybe I can. can go right through the engine though. I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Alright, well we got the pistols back, uh -huh. so that was the ultimate goal of the, that, but uh... <laughs> I guess I wasn't expecting to um... like phase through the engine. That was probably the biggest uh... shock. laying on the ground for you. Yeah, somebody placed them there all neatly and perfectly for us. I'm assuming one of these guys has a key card because... There we go. It was this guy. Oh, all these dudes are beefed up. They gotta be ripe for their uh, leader. They like got the uh, builds of like, I don't know, professional wrestlers in the 80s back when they were using steroids. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, I'm sure that could have gone over a lot better. It didn't, so, oh well. These guys have been dropping health packs, so... Uh -huh. I admire that. Uh -huh. Oh, you learned something tonight, huh? Good. What was it? You know, it's funny, um, the gun actually sounds better in this one, having just finished Tomb Raider 1 uh -huh. a couple days ago, you could do like a pretty quick comparison, but the guns actually sound better in this game than they did in the first one. The first one definitely sounds like pea shooters. <laughs> shots it takes to actually kill these guys it might as well be airsoft bullets also you learn that steroids uh -huh. don't beat a gun in a fight that is true airsoft gun or no buff dudes wielding crowbars just can't compete quicker if I just did it this way oh are those automatic pistols I spy they are and I'm missing half my ammunition too great all right 
nothing else in the barracks here. What the hell is this? Oh, cards. I would have thought it was like a pack of cigarettes, but alright. Ooh, hey. Almost didn't catch that. Harpoons. I don't know how often that's going to come into play, but... There's one down here. <laughs> Alright, fellas. It's gonna be a chick coming through here with guns. So we need crowbars to stop her. I think it might be just be these are just like the crew workers. It might have just been all they had at the time, but <laughs> first line of defense ain't always the best one. We got that. Some other stuff out this way. And they still got dogs on here. Cards like the size of grade school math cards. These are very big men. <laughs> so big men need big cards. It's the uh, rules of nature. Incoming. She might as well be. No. <laughs> Lara versus the Union. God, I saw they were still trying to. Uh -huh. There's the Crystal Dynamics. I think still wants to do another Tomb Raider game in, you know line with the series that they already had but I don't know I don't know what's going on with that embracer group apparently there's been a lot of issues with them so some people are reporting that um, they're like on the brink <laughs> of closing down some of the studios that they bought because apparently they lost a shitload of money on some sort of investment I forget exactly what it was but uh, time will tell what actually is going to go down with all that uh, but yeah Crystal Dynamics apparently still wants to do a Tomb Raider game. However, I did see that they had a like board game, and it looks very uh, suspicious. Yeah, might as well not. I don't think I'm gonna save. Something about it seemed a little funky to me. Oh, hey, there's a switch here, but I wonder. If I'm going to get sucked up into this thing if I try to pull it. Hey, what's up, Nightmare? A little nervous about the Embracer Group issues going on because of how many projects they've axed after the investment loss? Yeah. That seems to be the uh, general consensus. It's because they've lost so much money that... Um, there and they've they've already let go apparently of a lot of different people that they've had under their employment so people are thinking that there's going to be some companies that are going to end up getting shut down because of that so i don't know i don't know kind of have to think though it's like where do the ips go i guess you know maybe they get sorted and auctioned off or something but you know if crystal dynamics no longer has tomb raider who gets it Basically. We'll see. I don't know. They haven't really done anything I'm too, like, hyped about lately, so I don't know. But, you know, they made some quality products in the past. <laughs> EA, no. <laughs> they made some quality products in the past, so here's hoping that they able to get something going. Of course, um, you know, a lot of their kind of, like, iffier projects were specifically attributed to working with um, Squeenix, so that wasn't, you know, preferable. I was kind of hoping there'd be something else down there, I guess not. Oh well. I heard about the Legacy of Cain thing, I don't know if that was like 100% or if that was rumor, but I heard they wanted to do something with Legacy of Cain since they had it. 
I've heard that they wanted to do a, like a remaster in similar vein to these this set of remasters, but I don't know what kind of evidence there is to support that. One of these bastards must be holding on to a key card somewhere, because I saw that there's a spot where we could use one. I don't think I no, I didn't pick one up anywhere. So I might have missed it. Maybe there's a switch to open up one of these doors that I didn't see, but switch over to the original graphics mode, maybe that'll show me something. I was 100 percent because I put a survey out on it. Hmm. All right, I'll take your word for it. Sometimes these survey things don't always pan out, though. I remember a lot of surveys going out about certain things that never necessarily manifested into an actual product. Product. Uh, it was more just to like get a feel. Like, if we do this, what would you want to see? There, I remember there being like a door or something up top. Oh, there's a switch over there. I might have missed that. Uh, remaster visuals. Ah, uh. uh, okay, there's a door. Thought as much. I'll twist it around here. What did that switch look like? Eh, I guess it kind of stands out. I just was missing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't close up on me like that. I'm surprised I didn't die. This game always has some weird bullshit going on. swim somewhere for a circuit board then push a box. Oh, there's plenty of box pushing. We got some right here. <laughs> uh, the circuit board thing I kind of remember. There's like a... This this is a, this is one of them long levels where it goes into like several different forms. It goes into like that weird pump room and then it goes into like these heavy machinery like kind of like pipe looking rooms. So there's like a bunch of shit that this uh, level ended up incorporating. specifically this one you know surprise it for as much as I uh, had issues with Tomb Raider 3 playing it just like you know difficulty wise I actually remember that one a lot more than this one maybe because I was struggling so hard sometimes the levels can be a little bit obtuse and you like don't exactly know what you need to do kind of experienced that a little bit with the opera house but there was like you know that segment there where I had to we use the elevator to get an extra thing but the true purpose of the elevator was to get um to move it up and then get into the elevator and like, get down to a point where you could um where you could go underwater so it's like sometimes stuff has dual purpose like that and it's like not not a lot of levels did little features like that where you had to like backtrack and loop around. Hey, there's the uh, key card. So that takes us back around. About the strategy guide for it pretty quick. I think you still have that beat up guide. That's, yeah, me too. I got, well, not for Tomb Raider, but I've got a handful of strategy guides. I usually get them for Final Fantasy. Typically, when I bought a Final Fantasy game, I quickly got a, a game guide after the fact. I think my worst looking game guide was um, Dragon Warrior 3, though, for the Game Boy Color. Boy, that one looked rough. All right. Uh -huh. 
Statue number two. I don't remember where the third one is, but I'm sure we can find it. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Come back for you later. At least we got our shades on. Yeah, whoops. I was uh, I was admiring the skybox. It actually looked quite lovely. Painted sunset and everything. The original looks nice too, although it's a little bit more muted. But you know what? Surprisingly, the original looks a little more realistic. Take it from me, that's the best looking spot in the entire level. It's only gonna get uglier from here. Uh huh. The visuals can be hit or miss, I find. And I mean, none of them like look bad, but there's there's actually a few in the original that I prefer. You know, a lot of times you think of the remaster and everything that all the visuals be touched up and it's an upgraded version and it actually would look better in every regard, but there's a few where I've taken a look at them and I'm like, yeah, you know what, I like the original better. There's been a lot of lighting portions that I feel have been sort of questionable in the remaster too. Some places are like really dark in the remaster and they're pretty well lit up in the original and then... Sometimes like vice versa, there's like weird, weird lighting changes. Dumb down, that could be. Asshole's just coming out of the woodwork. I didn't even see where that third guy was. He just started climbing up from something. Like roaches. They've been giving me a lot of shotgun ammo. I'm almost feeling self-conscious about maybe trying to use that instead. Oh, but I don't have the shotgun, do I? I just picked up the automatic pistols and nothing else. Well, that would explain it then. Okay. This isn't the like pump room I was thinking of, but it's one of them. Yeah. Nothing I can exactly get into down there just yet. Oh wait. There's another box. Box pushing level. Okay. Loop back around three times for that one, but 
It'll get us up to that little upper portion there, so... What's up, Laura? Got business to attend to. Uh -huh. Okay, we need a green key card now. Got a switch here. Probably fills up the water in the tank, yeah. No. Alright, sorry. situation with this because I don't think I could climb out of that like re well I don't know let me try I guess oh no she can never mind I misjudged the height okay so we got another tank Back into that room, all right. Only I had that green key card. Okay, this is the giant pump room I was thinking of. This one's huge. So we've gotten... Okay, that's where the third... I didn't even remember that. That's where the third dragon statue is down there, though. Uh, so, I need to figure out how to get down there. Bunch of water. I remember there being... Hearing it. I remember there being enemies like down there that shoot you from below though, which is a pain in the ass. Dropping shotguns. Somebody's breathing hard. <laughs> that guy didn't even get a shot in. Uh -huh. Sounded like he did, but he didn't. I better use 
use a health pack. This guy might take me out from a distance. Okay. So we got all the guys taken care of. The only thing is potentially getting down here and getting the statue, which I definitely need. I think I might be able to just like hop up from the bottom there. I mean, I could definitely drop down from up there. I kind of feel like that would take some health away from me, but I don't know. It seems more like a sure thing. Watch out for Scuba Steve. They're coming to get me. I, there were like actual scuba divers here though, from what I remember, right? So, okay, that just takes us back to the, looks like the room. We have unfinished business back here. That's what we need. I'm like, there's gotta be something else back here, though. It can't, like, just be some weird shortcut. Also, where the hell is this guy shooting me from? Somebody's, like, taking pot shots from pretty far out. Oh, yeah. He is shooting me. He's got a harpoon. Uh -huh. The shots are silent, though, so that's why... I... Gotcha, bitch. Okay. That was it. I don't even know what I got from all that. I didn't, I didn't see what the, uh, the bonus was from getting all the treasures. We got them all, though, so... I got whatever it was meant to be, but... I just don't know what it was. Back on track. through here I could switch off that water that probably that one switch that put water into the one tank I think is the one that puts it back into the other so now that we have the ability to open up the door that cuts across it we should be able to get into whatever tunnel thing that is down there
Guy walked right past me as if he didn't even know I was there shooting him. Uh huh. Switch over to the shotgun for a minute. I think it gets a little cloistered from here on out. At least for a couple segments. Plus, I'm running out of ammunition for the uh, automatic pistols. What the hell is that? Are they monitoring Lara running? It's not in the original. <laughs> it's really weird. specifically what happens, but I remember there being a handful of enemies, plus probably more scuba divers and shit, so best to be careful. <laughs> They're checking her stats, seeing if she's up to snuff, seeing who can compete with her. Oh, that was the end. 31 to 31 pickups, all secrets found. Not bad. But it ain't over yet. I actually thought this uh, this level was uh, still, I mean, obviously it's a continuation of the previous one, but I thought it was all the same level. Okay. Giant spinning fan in there. Probably don't want to jump in that water. So we'll just make a save at the start. Eh, it doesn't really matter because I think when you die you can just do a restart level, but I'll do it anyway. Okay. Fan off. second there just pushing me up against that wall I don't like it or something.
I've been generous with the flares, so that's nice. Ooh, okay, I remember this room. There's like acid down here for some reason. There is a dragon statue down there, which is what I was checking for. So, gotta make sure we get that. Predicament. Actually, it sends us right up in the center. Actually, it would be best to jump from here, I guess. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I thought I had that jump, but I guess not. on the edge there. Oh, is this the extra long ladder? It is. <laughs> there it goes. There, um, is a glitch that you can exploit uh, if anyone's done the corner glitching which I accidentally did um god I don't know if I could do it though I, I actually accidentally did corner glitching in um the original Tomb Raider but I'm trying to, to remember how exactly you execute this Cause there's there's sort of a, like a very particular way but it can be done um let me see there's another video of it because let me see if i could take a look and see what specifically this person does so you have to like get right up on the edge here She gets in there. There's something very particular about it though. It's like you get one in and you like climb and then like halfway through the climbing animation, you let go and then you kind of turn and it almost seems like it was about to execute because I had her clip into the corner there for a second, but yeah, intentional Corner glitching is, I don't know, beyond me. I've never been able to do it successfully of my own will. But if you do it, it shoots her like straight up to the top. I accidentally did it in, um, we'll just do it manually, because I'm sure there's no way I could execute that without having a more firm knowledge of what needs to be done, but, um, I accidentally did it in the last portion of the Egypt level in Tomb Raider 1, where I missed, uh, judged the type of jump I needed to do, and then as Laura was falling, she clipped through the edge of a pillar and then she just ended up right on top. So it has something to do with like accidentally clipping through a corner. Um, not accidentally, you could exploit it, but like clipping through a corner of, you know, an actual structure. And then the game doesn't know how to process that and it just like shoots the character right up to the top. I still took damage when I did the one in Egypt though, so. Uh, there's still like some odd physics fuckery going on there, but. Oh well. Not unlike uh, old Snake Eater. 
It's one of them extra long ladders, which also there's another glitch you can exploit to get up that level actually relatively quickly too. But that one, that one's a little more involved because it goes, it involves going into the menu uh -huh. and hitting up like your inventory and dropping like a box or something. I forget what specifically you need to do. But that one's a little bit more particular. so heavy. It's weird. Uh -huh. There's a spot we could jump off of. Okay. I think we need to do it there because it has a blue key card. And that looks like it takes a key card, so that's what we need to go grab. I think we need to long jump this. If I die, I don't want to go back up this ladder again, so I'm going to make a save. Whoa, 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 what was that? <laughs> Didn't like the angle of the jump? down here. This is pretty much getting that key card. So now we come through this little ventilation shaft and I think it puts us right back to the ladder. The extra long ladder. And we just gotta go back up again. Although from here it eliminates some of the length. So they were nice enough to do that. Still takes a good 30 seconds to get up here, but yeah, a shortcut. 30 seconds as opposed to a minute. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. I actually think I pulled that exact same one up. Also, what's up, Walrus? Welcome back. I, I think I, I, was, I was just looking at it because I linked it to a friend of mine. Actually, save Daler if you're still here. That's I pulled up your chat <laughs> to, to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, they just like get right into the side, like right up to the side, and then like drop right as she's reaching up her arm to climb up. Uh, and then it looks like as she drops to the floor, they turn like to the right, and then you know, mixed results. But sometimes. She zoops right on up to the top and, you know, sometimes she goes halfway and kills herself, but still, they seem to be able to do it more effectively than I did. We're past it, but yeah, if you want to link it, that's fine. Um, maybe I could utilize it some other time. I would, I've only ever, ever played these games vanilla. Um, I've never done any sort of exploits, and I've seen people do some fun-looking stuff. You know, with exploits and with speedrunning strategies. I always kind of wanted to give something like that a try. I just don't necessarily have the patience for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Dog just, like, popped up out of nowhere. Oh. I guess I ran out of ammunition, so she just pulled out the pistols. Oh, we still got the automatics. A little bit of ammo for that. <sighs> mm, keep thinking those are door or boxes, but they're doors that need to be unlocked. <laughs> I 
there was one I did for, I saw somebody post a, uh, a webm of, um, like beating the Thames wharf in like 30 or 40 seconds. It was absolutely insane. And I tried to replicate it. I, I did it, but it took like, it took a dozen tries. So <laughs> I couldn't like do it like immediately right off the bat. But basically they just jumped over the opening wall and then after that they jumped onto the crane, jumped over the crane railing, uh, like right next to the, I guess it's not the bell tower, but like the, the museum looking thing, I don't know what it is, but like right next to the final building that you do before you exit the level. Um, but it's just like a couple quick jumps. It's it's hard to get the angle right, but I was able to do it. So just took a little effort. I'm going to assume that I probably need to leave that doorway open. That's a large shadow. There's a tunnel down here. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. It's like the only thing about this though is I think there might be uh, scuba divers down there and I've got like no means to defend myself. God, sometimes she gets like caught up on those doorways or something. I don't know what's going on there. I feel like I'm getting stuck on shit. in a cage. I'm waiting for this asshole to peek his head out. I remember shooting him when they uh, try to follow you out of the tunnel, but I guess he's not coming. I don't know exactly what door that opened up, but maybe something back here. I know I didn't check every route. This way? I got a feeling like this way is where the exit is. So I don't think we actually go this particular direction. A pile of dead dogs. Let me see what this is. Cause I'm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that door, but I don't remember if it was one that had a little turnstile thing on it or if it was something else. Alright. I guess it must be this back way then. I don't know, I seem to remember coming back here and there's like a helicopter that took off. Oh, but maybe you have to double back. That might have been it. Like, oh no, he's getting away. And then you have to go find some other means. There's a shitload of enemies over here too. look at that chopper before it takes off. <laughs> okay, we got a pipe work man. We got shotgunner. That's a dude with an MP5. There he goes. Let's 
see what kind uh -huh. of ammo these guys got. Ah, a health kit, uh -huh. good. Uh -huh. Damn. Only two slugs. Two switches, huh? He's got to turn off the fire. I don't know. The other one might have a longer lasting thing, I guess, since it's a flip switch. I know that one turns off the fire. <laughs> oh. That's what it is. Each one turns off a separate fire. Get like a little circuit board. That's probably the circuit board thing that Daylor was talking about. These come back on though, I'm sure though. Oh yeah. Got a little singed there. so many weapons, I wonder. Uzi's automatic pistols. Ah! Inventory plus, um, look. <laughs> that's, what, that's what pulls out that M4. Nice. Okay. So now that we got that circuit board, I think that goes back into that one pool room that we saw where those guys are like freaking out. Like rats in a cage. What happens from then on, I don't know. I remember there being more underwater shit. I do remember more scuba divers and such, so. I think the ultimate goal is to get to the center here. The center's got these doors with the cult markings on them. Machine chip. Okay, so it didn't open that door, but something down here. <laughs> Falls face first like a ton of bricks. some harpoons. I don't think I have a harpoon gun, though. I've gotten uh -huh. a couple harpoons, but no gun. Oh, I do. Oh. Sort of surprising. I don't remember where I got it. Oh, 
Also, that had to have been the first. No, that was the second statue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the first one I got was in that that one drop. Okay, so we just got one more left. And I got no more cl clue where these things are, but I will find them. these guys or if they just take more shots than I anticipate. Okay, I sort of remember this. There's a there's a sub down there, I think. took care of you people. I think they take four shots maybe, but you have to like be kind of dead on with hitting them. Well, <laughs> there goes that. Since they're not hit scanners, I feel like maybe you could avoid them a little easier than some other guys, but still they throw a couple at you. That's probably not so great. See if it comes out. I don't know what kind of enemy that is. Hey, here he comes. Peeking his head out. Look who's come out of his cave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Horrifying noise. Okay, I assume that's gonna help me get across. there's anything I could do with that and I don't think I can get that red key card there. We hit the switch that did something. So I think I need to find out what that is. Actually, can I take this back? No. Alright. I kind of don't know what that, sw <laughs> that switch did. It, uh, it like showed me a pillar or something, but I don't know where that was. It might have been, I don't know, that might have been in the, um, the room with like the really deep pool. I think it's a room that's got a submarine in it. 
We opened up another door too. I know we've had a couple that have been locked. I guess let me go check down here. This room's still got people running around in it, but I don't think anything else changed here. There's a submarine down there, but I'm pretty sure we either need to like we need to like bring it up or something. I don't know. I don't think we can get down there. That's my point. So I'm feeling like there's another room where something changed. I just don't know where it is. check in the central area because something might be down over there. Maybe one of the doors opened up or something else happened. Now we got a shitload of boozy ammo. Could tear people up too. Uh -huh. Well something down here changed for sure because we, now we got more enemies. trying to catch their breath, but I don't know where they are. Oh, shit. That's nothing I could do about that. It's a good thing I saved recently. So you don't let those guys catch up with you. Still got hit. Jeez. I know flamethrowers, you know, in real life. Got a bit of range on them, but Christ. people like walking around or something. Oh, the doors just open up automatically. Okay. I guess once you're inside, you're in. Now this guy comes out? Unbelievable. 
Okay, now we got the red key card, which we take into the middle room, because that's where the red key card port was, but that's got me wondering about the submarine thing now. I don't know, because either the... Yeah, let me open it up and see what happens. I'll make a save beforehand. Because I do want to get the last dragon statue, but I feel like it has something to do with that submarine, but I thought the submarine was the way out. Let's just see what's down here. Okay, so there's a shotgunner. Ah, okay, so this takes us down this way. submarine is down there <laughs> but yeah I, I do think still that it's the way we get out at the same time though let's just continue peeking on through here I sort of remember like dropping into something and then a cutscene just occurring come through here yeah this is kind of what I remember Coming through here and then the cutscene triggering. So maybe it does have something to do with the. There's that monk dude. <laughs> I'm surprised he could go this far and even see him. Oh, there's the stat. Okay, so it's all the way at the end. Hmm. That's interesting. How do I get there? How do I get in there? Maybe. Maybe we go in there. Because I don't know. Maybe you need to walk up to this guy to trigger the cutscene. So. See if this guy comes up on his own volition. Oh, okay. Guess he's got nothing for me. To before I think you need to kill them and then the cutscene triggers so before that yeah <clears throat> coming through here you get the statue and there we go well I'm satisfied I don't know what the deal was with the submarine but
Oh well. You are not one of them. But you are a monk. Brother Chen Barkang. You have come for me. I saw bright lights around me. That was gunfire. I think it was them who got taken away by it. But you are my guide. My path beater to a next incarnation. I have done my time here, haven't I? What are you doing here? In Marco Bartoli? Nothing. I led righteous life. Here for reasons rooted only in necessary evil. As my father was before me when he bombed Gianni's vessel deep into these waters. Now I'm here, uh, was here, to prevent his son from salvaging the Seraph. The Seraph? You not know my life's work well. You sure you're not here for them? Their Jackanory days are well over. They want the Seraph to unlock a malignant treasure we contain in our monastery in Tibet. Since being stolen by imbecile vagabonds centuries ago, we've been without key to it. Relying solely on cleansing of our prayers to keep it subdued. Then the occultist Gianni Bia acquired it. Trouble we knew. He breathed life back into ancient belief. One Damn, she's just stripping down right in front of this guy. Head bowing. And now again, it is here. Marco, infected with madness. He has violent mind, but not yet the power to satiate it. So, we reach for our weapons once more. The true detox of evil. Where can you be taking me? I thought this was my big break. Best changes are for those rest. Oh, I need one. There's the submarine. <laughs> it's kind of clipping through the wall a little bit, but gets the job done. Ooh, didn't get all the pickups that time, 35 to 39, but we got all the secrets. Took about half an hour to get through. All right, we're coming up to my favorite, uh, Maybe. I don't know. It's up there. But one of my favorite settings in the series. The sunken ship, the Maria Doria. You're in a submarine, sir. You shouldn't uh, let a shark scare you. Ooh. Looks rather nice. Alright. I know some people get confused by this, but there is a trail of, like, garbage. I think when I first played this, I wasn't sure where I needed to go. It was pretty expansive for being underwater, but you figure there had to be something because, you know, you don't have any, like, actual diving gear. Anything to help you breathe. So you gotta figure that there's gotta be something close by. Although, looking at this now, I don't know where the entry point is. <laughs> is it the anchor? Yeah. I think we go in where the anchor is. This is probably one of the settings where I've been most curious. There's a lot of stuff in, in Tomb Raider 2 where I'm wondering what it looks like, comparatively speaking, in the remastered version. I kind of sort of wish they had revamped a little bit of the audio. Now, a lot of Tomb Raider's, you know, background audio and stuff is very ambiotic. You know, your backing tracks only pop up actual music when there's something big going on or you know to kind of bring in a new area or something like that but um a lot of ambient sounds 
basically is what fills up 90% of the game audio. However, some of it, like especially in this one, it was weird. It was like the heartbeat, which I think is what they used in um, Atlantis. Look, makes a little more sense there, I feel. With like the eggs, and the hatchery, and all that kind of stuff, but this one I thought it was a little bit strange. little water droplet sounds, I guess. I said it before with the previous levels, but I sort of more deep into the areas where I really don't know where the dragon statues are going to be. I'm actually kind of worried some of that preceding stuff, there might be something over there. Oops. Just on account of the areas being as big as they are. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. I flipped the switch and then accidentally flipped back up again. I wonder if that, like, took or what. Actually, did the water level drop? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> anyway, we could take a peek, I guess. If I can even find where those exit points are, I don't think I can anymore. Still registers as being underwater, even though the water level's been lowered down there. I mean, you'd think some of it would fill up, but... I think this level's pretty big, though. Like, even outside of this stuff. So... I probably didn't miss anything. This goes on for a while, though, geez. Can't imagine if they had something back here, you'd be able to manage to get back. So someone talking about trying to, like, make it to the surface. <laughs> Is there even a surface to speak of? No, it doesn't look like it. Not in the remastered or the uh, original version. It's still kind of cool though, even though it's sort of pointless, but it's like you do not have, unless you're using like a Game Shark cheat or something like that. I'm just talking about back in the console days, but you don't have enough breath to even see what the hell is going on out uh, on the seafloor portion of this level. It's like with this free camera mode, I can look all over the place. There ain't nothing out here, nor should there be, but still kind of neat to see how far they actually mapped out. This one gets pretty deep into the Maria Doria, like without getting into the whole ballroom area sections. I actually think there's quite a few little hiding spots that you can get to that I'm sort of remember. Especially if we're dealing with like some of the more technical aspects of the ship. There's a statue already. Uh -huh. I 
honestly didn't think there'd be like human enemy encounters just yet. Uh huh. Ooh. Ugh. Shit. Gotta restart the level on that one. My bad. Alright, it's alright. Most, most of that time was spent, like, using the free cam to <laughs> look around here. So, I get this pretty quick. When I was jumping down, I didn't anticipate uh, jumping off of the platform and down into the center. I thought I'd land on the side. I gotta say, the uh, underwater levels, uh, normally people hate these types of levels. I'm not a huge fan of them myself. Oh, I think I missed the surface spot back here. Um, typically in most games, but with the controls being as tight as they are with Tomb Raider, I feel like these operate a lot better. As a, because a lot of games, especially, you know, with the whole swim mechanic, they make you, like, repeatedly tap on stuff, or something about the control that makes the character, like, go all over the place. Never been too fond when they incorporate those kinds of aspects, but, you know, with Tomb Raider, you're just holding down the action button to make her go forward, and then you just move the character around almost like a vehicle or something. So it's actually fairly easy to kind of get her to move the way you want her to. <sighs> Switch up twice. I wonder if I need should do that again. I think if the end result is it taking the water out, it should be the same in either case. Oops. Ah, close. time. That's a weird one. I was hoping I'd get the drop on that guy, but he climbed all the way up to the top before I even had a chance to do anything. Shit, he's got a health kit up there. I don't think I could get to him. <laughs> I 
I might... Let's see if I can angle this right. I might be able to jump up here. see that. I think I need to get up over here. Okay. One of these deals, huh? Haven't seen this since Greece. water. It's like it looked kind of bright, so I was wondering if it was electrified or something. I feel like that happens in some instance. Anyway, that door is timed. there, but still managed to make it. Oh. Ah. This takes out like a sore thumb. I remember looking out of a port window or something and seeing, oh my god, a statue. I wonder if it was that one. Just like in my periphery, I could kind of see swimming out there, so that might have been it, but they definitely clue you in on that one. Like, oh, there's something out there. You might want to go take a peek. Yeah, I bet you it was this. So that was one of the ones I was thinking of. I'm like, okay, I remember there was a statue where it was outside of the shipwreck and you needed to swim to it, but that just leaves one more, and I don't remember where it is. Oh, that might have been it. Yeah, they really key you in on it in that case then, because they show you like an external camera angle of it. Where's that door? Went up that uh, spot just behind me there. Doorway, but I don't know where that was. <laughs> oh, 
might have been this. door we ought to open up just makes a new switch pop out yeah i guess those must have been time too those uh, flame vents well shit now i wonder if the other one is timed off so far. Let's hope it stays that way. Oh, all right. We still had a beat by, I don't know, like five, five to ten seconds, so... Top. I guess it was the one down below. <laughs> Gotta be careful here because I got a feeling like I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Hey, there's the last dragon statue. I'm gonna lose. Oxygen and health, but I don't know. I've got a shitload of harpoons. That's yeah, gonna be a little tricky. Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> but I did it. Probably would have been worse, I don't know, because we had to basically go up and then down and then back up again, so I'm wondering if it might have been worse or maybe something might have gotten closed had we waited and gone back down again, like waited to surface and then gone back down from there, but might have lost more health from all those fish trying to get at me. Here, either like the ship gets turned over or 
this is all supposed to be garbage or something. I don't know what this is. But, like, something happens where it empties out. Looks like a great, yeah, I can't scale it. I guess they want me to pull this box out. Okay, there it happened. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, okay, yeah, those are like bay doors or something like that. Um, this is like all trash. And we just let more in here. I think I use this to get back up, but. in the spot. You know what? There's this. Still, I think the overall goal is to, like, do something like that. I think we need to get the opposite side of that particular pile. Like she's in labor. <laughs> oh, and she's like pulling and shit, grunting and whatnot. Yeah, maybe a little bit. She's more grunty in this one than I feel than she was in the uh, the original. One slides us oh shit. Uh back down. 
that other platform, like right next to it, it seems like it would be the same. I don't think there'd be too much of a difference between them because that looks like the same incline. I'll just save so we don't have a repeat of last time. I'm not too sure where it wants me to hop up onto. It'll just be faster if I do this and have it climb back down again. Um, I might be able to angle a jump. Maybe, eh, not there. There it goes, okay. I keep thinking you need to do it from the center. It looks like a centermost kind of angled jump, but all the platforms that are directly there are just like way too steep. Once again, we unlock a door where I'm not too sure where the hell that was. It ain't up top. It's gotta be down below somewhere. It ain't up top because there ain't no way we can get back through there. So it doesn't look like it's down here either. The um, spot that they showed almost looked completely barren. Maybe it is up top. I don't know, maybe it's this. Ooh, that's a little steep. about that. Where does this lead to? Oh. Suddenly we're just underwater. That goes to a room, but maybe I need to flip the switch. I don't know what kind of difference it would make, since I think it just opened up the cargo bay doors, but maybe I need to flip the switch in the room back here. That definitely looks like the place where the door opened, though, so... I mean, I think that's where we need to go to eventually. Unless I could grab onto, like, the ceiling or something, I don't know what... I'm supposed to drop down there. And the surface why I mean... Hmm. Maybe I should take a look at it with classic visuals again. Sometimes the water gets a little uh, iffy in the remastered mode, and it's hard to tell when it's actually there. In particular, there was a segment in Tomb Raider 3, it was the London portion, where... Um, What was it? It was like a water treatment facility type place. And you could raise and lower the water level there, but... It's like you had it raised at one point, and then you could see like two variations at the same time. So you saw like the halfway point, and then like the... Okay, I didn't even mean to jump off of that. <laughs> you have like the halfway point, and then the... Um, full water level displayed at the same time, so I don't know. Sometimes I don't trust what the water is looking like. But yeah, I don't know about that section. There doesn't seem to be anything else going on here. 
So we hit the switch, and the only thing it seems to do is open up that door. That's the lower level door, though, so you would think... If there's a way to like get water in there then. I'm missing something in here. Again, uh, there's no way we could get back up top, I wouldn't think. shove that garbage back up. Now, you know what? I didn't even realize that. There's two different entry points here. Where does this one go then? completely different section. Hmm. Or was this the original one now? Now I don't remember. Well, in any case, it's something. sense. Sound of water rushing in, so we could probably go back down to that spot and now we could jump in without breaking our neck. Still too short. I think I tried that before. The only way to get back up here is this one up here. Uh. Although I should be able to long jump that. Let me see. Shotgun blast the head as I walk out of here. No, that's why it's not working. Somebody has the decency to drop a health kit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just hanging out here doing nothing, playing circle jerk, I guess. Uh, I guess they could open. 
open the door when they wanted. Oh, that was the end of the level. Actually, I thought 40 fathoms went on for a little bit longer. Found everything, though. 14 out of 14 pickups and 3 out of 3 secrets. Surprised I've been able to find the secrets so far, but, you know, some of them have been camera-assisted, but I feel like I've also just been sort of walking into a lot of the dragons without even really intending to. I definitely remember them being a pain in the ass to find when I streamed uh, these games originally, but part of that might have been due to the fact that I was doing the PlayStation versions and, you know, it's especially hard to see, not to mention the whole not being able to free cam stuff, but you know, when you can't see what you're doing, you tend to, like, rush a little more, I would think. Uh -huh. You're just trying to get to what you know you can get to, as opposed to lingering around and seeing if you can make do. That's exactly what I did not want to do. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, take me back. This was one of those levels, I know for sure, where the whole thing was just super, super dark. I already see the statues here. Looks like you drop in from a vent, which I remember there being a fair amount of vent crawling before. Which, at least with this particular mode, it doesn't look too dark. I remember going through some of the, um, like these ventilation shafts, though, and having it be pitch, pitch black. of a section though, right? I wonder if we need to get to it. Probably not. It doesn't look like it goes to anything unless, I don't know, something up top like opens up, but I kind of doubt that'd be the case. But then I wonder about uh, this thing here. Kind of, 
I'm a sucker for like god rays and stuff. <laughs> so seeing the little shafts of light peek through the windows I think looks real nifty. But it's kind of odd that the uh, tables were no. like, bolted to the floor, but then I guess on a ship, I mean, I gotta admit, I haven't been on too many, but I guess, you know, given the sea and the waves and such, you probably would want to secure them down to the floor. around here somewhere. The glass shards from the opera house return, so. Should be careful with what I'm doing, actually. There might be some pitfalls and stuff in here, so I'll just make a save. I haven't even saved yet. I was sort of hesitant, because I wasn't sure. <laughs> so we, we began in such a rough manner. I was like, yeah, maybe I might want to restart the level, but I'll leave it. Ah, there they are. Shards. Looks like there's a key down there, so we need to go grab that. Uh -huh. That triggered somebody. shit, I don't see why I'm not using it. I feel like they're better than the automatic pistols anyway. Okay, we got a key. I saw that there was a key hole back in kind of the dining area. I was wondering if those paintings were unique, but I think they're some of the paintings that Laura has in her mansion. upside down. Oh. What did that open? It sounded close. There's something weird going on with this. Yeah, look at that. Actually, why was I able to clip through that? Shouldn't be the case. Uh, anyway, because it seems like the only thing that you need to do with that is just hit that switch. And it does look like there is 
like a, I don't know, another ventilation shaft or something that connects to that. I'm just going to close that up because if I were to come down from that ventilation shaft uh, with those doors open from this end, it would be closed when I get down there that way. Okay. So now we got this all opened up. The only thing is, though... How do I get up top? Oh, maybe up here. Oh. Here? Yeah, there it is. like a shimmy section. <clears throat> Do the same over here because it looks like there's something on the other end of this. Like sort of upper level area. But I'm like, I think I have everything, so I don't know what it could uh -huh. be. Boy, that is huge. What is that? Circuit breaker. I don't think I've ever seen any yet, but that might be... If I remember this level right, there might be like some electronic stuff. It's gonna open it and get up there. Anyway, there might be some electronic stuff like at the end of the level. Something kind of choking me up, but there's like this dust coming off my mic. I don't know what the hell it is, but it doesn't look good. I'm trying to blow it off. seeing if that exclamation mark pops up, but I don't see anything. I want to say that in one of these rooms, there's a portion of the wall that you have to move out. up there. Oh man, we gotta push a box real far back. Oh, 
here? No. Can't even reach that. Oh, wait. Ah, see? <laughs> I'm like, unless I could jump across, but that seems like a bit of a distance. I seem to remember weird, like, boulders or something coming out around here. Switch on the upper level. There it is. Box that looks like a wall. Oh, and a key, too. It goes back to that initial hallway that we came into. since we haven't seen another lock anywhere else. Great. More boxes. Actually, it looks like there's a box. You have to pull it like back onto this one. I wonder if you could push two boxes when they're stacked on top of each other. or stacking them on top of each other would accomplish, but I guess there's another box down there, so it's less getting up somewhere, and it's more just utilizing as much space as you can. completely wrong about that. Um, I guess I'll try pushing it in. I wasn't really thinking about the spacing constraint other than we might need the extra space. But I guess this up unlocks a path, so... Make a save here. <laughs> it's a good thing I 
I saved there. <laughs> I jumped over the collapsible platforms because, you know, I didn't want them to collapse on me, but... Okay, there's a statue up there, which I think that's, okay. That'd be the first one we'd find in this area. happen when there's like you know in the original game when there's stuff okay that's how you do it <laughs> when there's like a boulder rolling off of like a ledge like that usually you could hang off the ledge and the boulder just clears you completely uh -huh. but um, I guess I need to drop for this one just yet though. Huh. Guess that must be a door. It's cracked. I could see that there's like level behind it. It's a lot better than the remaster. <laughs> Saving a new slot just in case. I don't know what they're getting me into here. Okay. Fair enough. Although... Okay, I was like, that would have to reset though because there's no other way I could get up to this section. Just gotta keep jumping. shuffling around up here. Oh, I thought this was back in the central ballroom. Completely different area. Wait, 
Where did that, uh... That's what I thought. That switch, but that switch reset late. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like something dropped right next to her. Oh, I guess it still did. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. I think because the rest of, like, the surrounding area is on an incline, it's really hard to, like, jump. You can't, like, jump down in there from any other point, so you need to, like, run around. I think that's what it, the deal is. off the controller for a second and just go all wonky. I bet you there's a weird angle or something you could run at and, you know, avoid having to do this. circuit breaker thing, I guess. Uh -huh. Let's see what else is down here. Yeah, another switch. I was thinking there's gotta be something, because it seems like that boat area needs to get drained or something. That, and there it goes. Only because that door down there didn't seem to be able to function otherwise. Hey, what? Is it triggered by me, like, walking over here? Yes, it is. <laughs> but yeah, this whole section, there's all that glass in the middle there. If you like roll off or walk down there. You can, I don't think you can get back up. Finally getting into those ventilation ducts, which in the original were really, really dark. Oh, so look, here's this. And we actually we needed to do this anyway. It wasn't even for like a secret or anything, but we needed to do this on account of the circuit breaker being uh -huh. here. God, I hope there's only three of them. This, in the PlayStation version, was pitch black, I remember specifically. It's a little bit brighter here. Well, it's a lot brighter here. Somebody's walking. this thing then. Oh, no, I don't. No, 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 not that. I just saw the other switch. I 
see that opened up down there, but I want to see what this is, if this opened up. This just goes back into the main ballroom area. But I might be able to... Depending on where this goes, because this... This goes back into the dining area where there's just like people in here. Now, you know, the other thing, too, was back here, we saw another statue. I guess there's like a vent up here, but I don't know how you like actually get up this area. Maybe I got to push those boxes around. Anyway, I'm going to come this way. Just because I think it'd be better to get the drop on these guys. Something, what'd you have? Uh huh. Oh, harpoons. I burn through them so quick when I'm underwater, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, this is weird because it seems like this is the only way. Oh, never mind. <laughs> The only way to actually get to the statue. But I was like, it's all surrounded by that furniture, which it's not like I could destroy that or move that or anything. I'm expecting that. She switched over. Anyway, that's, um... Can't think of anything else as to where the other dragon statue might be. That's two out of three. I mean, there's a section we haven't seen yet on account of there being the... Circuit Breakers. anything. It is very possible that I did. Let's see before we get into this. Okay. 
Here's where you plug in the circuit breakers, but... Looks like there's only three slots, which is good. Oh. Guess each one you plug in shuts down the blazing fire next to it. Dragon statue better be around here somewhere because I've kind of moved on from the rest of this area. I feel like I got the pretty well hidden one, or the one that was hard to find the path to, which is that one that had the. Um, where you had to go through the ventilation shaft. have to like cross this and then it's a drop in here and I think this is where the level ends okay well it looks like there's oh you know what this actually goes on for a bit I think... okay. Alright. If this goes on for as long as all of that, I think the uh, last statue's a bit further out. This might, I think this is another one of those where it's um, outside of the wreckage, like in the water. This is another one where I remember that kind of being the case. Oh, there's water down here. Actually. Can I do... That was a pretty long jump. Can I do the... Um, Double somersault. Yes, I can. I even got an achievement for it. From somersault, somersault dive into the water. You do that uh, by doing executing the dive and then pressing the roll button. to do it. I'm sure there's been a couple spots where I could have done it, but it's the first time I was actually thinking about it. Uh -huh. Okay. Not what I wanted. I just wanted to heal. Keyhole there. See, this is kind of like the bridge. See out there. Ah, there it is. I wonder how easy that is to see. Okay. So you kind of see like a key out there. It's relatively visible in the remaster, but I feel like it's a little bit brighter in the original. But anyway, that tells you that you need to go out into the water in order to get that, so we gotta find a way to get out there. But I think there's also a 
statue out there. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, I'm back. Oh. Barely noticed that switch there. Open up a door somewhere. door down there. <clears throat> it's not the one that opened up though. Not too sure where that was. Ah, wait. Uh -huh. A little bit of magnum ammo. It. There might be another door around here, but that kind of looks like the one that got opened up. There's a possibility that that's a timed switch. Oh, the, well, no, no, no. I was like, there's a door down one of these hallways, but I think that's the one that requires the key. sets because she pulls it down instead of props it back up so I think it's actually the store back here through the door. <laughs> Should be good in this case in this case if it closed for me, because I can't uh, I think I can push this back, but I don't know if there's something underneath here or what. Oh a hatch. Oh no 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 hatch. Switch. Okay. I think that's how we get out. Every time I see the corpse in the background, I always feel like I gotta do a double take. I'm like, wait a sec. It's just chilling back there. guys. Two sharks. Nice. So I want to say I'm going to use this. There it is. Yep. As I recall... underwater cave with the uh, oxygen uh -huh. <laughs> bubble, I guess. Oh, what'd I get? I think it gave me a grenade launcher, but I already had that. 
Yeah. Should use that more often, to be quite honest. Could bite me again, then. I guess I'll use one of the large health kits. Okay, so the key's down there. I'm gonna use my free cam privilege to see if there's anything else worthy of being picked up. Doesn't look like it. Some people don't like the little exclamation marks that pop up, but for me it's nice. It wasn't a huge thing I struggled with with the original games, but sometimes, you know, your depth perception would be a little off, and then you wouldn't know if you're, like, in the good spot to pick up the thing. And, you know, this would work. I mean, it's it's worse when you're dealing with the... the hell's the exit? Oh, there it is. It's worse when you're dealing with, like, a 3D-ish environment, or 3D movement. Actually, it's all 3D movement, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, a, a free space. Um, you know, where you could move up X, Y, and Z, as opposed to just like X and Y or whatever. Um, but yeah, so, sometimes it'd be like picking up the stuff on the floor and you need to position your feet, but you know, you can just tell where you need to go with the uh, exclamation mark, but especially for stuff like that, when you're like swimming around, a lot easier. Eliminates the guesswork. Hats dropped. I think it's on the bridge somewhere. Let's see. Oh, back there. Okay, so. The thing is, I don't know if I need to push it or pull it or what. If it matters, there might just be something underneath this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see. Okay, never mind. I was thinking maybe there's like a pressure plate or something like that. No, it's a switch that's right above this. There it is. Didn't even see that the first time. Uh, <laughs> I think that's back here. plus the left trigger is. It's the grenade launcher. So now I know. I can just pull that bad boy out and just fire away. Yeah, I don't know where that hatch was. I'm sure we can figure it out. Not back here, is it? This room. The one that I've only seen once. Uh. What's going on down there? Let's see if you're worthy of tasting some grenades. in another room just like the last one we saw. I 
I could shimmy across if need be, but I don't know if there's how. I was gonna say a reason to. Actually, would be ill advised. Looks like the ultimate goal is to get in the water, but I'm just checking to see if there's anything that's like worth trying to get down to the center to. I don't know if I can make that jump. <laughs> um, seeing if there's another way to get to oh, the other side. Maybe. Let me look. Before, no? Some of the ocean backdrop is bleeding through. Uh -huh. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. I don't even know what kind of ammo that is. That might be for the M16. Took out both of those assholes. Was it worth it? Probably not. I don't know. Sometimes they pursue you and keep shooting at you, and you know, they could be a real nuisance. Sometimes you can just, like, escape them. I don't think there's anything else down there. I kind of worry less about just, like, random... Oh, shit. More eel. Uh, worry less about, like, random pickups once I've gotten all the... dragon statues. I remember this. Oh, shit. God damn it. That was a bunch of my health. were a pain in the ass. Um, I guess I'll go back and get this stuff, though. Sort of wonder if I could lead uh -huh. or lure those divers up top, because it looks like I might be able to pick uh -huh. myself back up, albeit on glass shards. But pick myself back up out of the water and try to shoot them. Might be better than trying to angle myself. Hit him from here. They're already trying to take pot shots at me, so might as well kill him while I got the opportunity. Uh huh. Okay. 
That went over much better this time around. Let's see where that was. secrets found. Not bad. Shit, this is one of those things where like the current's like real weird or something's going on. I don't know what it is. because I saw that door up there. I'm like, well, there's got to be a switch somewhere around here. I think it was actually back this way. But <laughs> I don't know if it's the current or there's like some weird hitboxes going on, but something's preventing me from swimming efficiently. Okay. Heartbeat's back. I think we might be in the section... The engine room section, which is actually like my least favorite Maria Duria spot. I don't remember if it goes into like the whole. There was like a like a theater, but I don't remember if the theater was a separate level or if it was tied to this one. But the engine section is gonna be at some point. I think we're doing it next, uh, which I don't remember liking that much. <laughs> but still, you know, week is part of like a really cool set of levels, so happy getting through it regardless. Um, but I haven't playing for a while. It's been almost five hours, uh, surprisingly. So I think I'm going to call it here, unfortunately, but, uh, we will continue on with this next time I stream. I'm having a great time playing this, um, Tomb Raider 2 again, one of those sequels that I've really been wanting to play even more so like than the original. So glad we get to kind of check it out, but. I don't know when I'll be back next. I um, think I might try to shoot for another weekend stream. Maybe we'll do something on Sunday. And we'll pick back up with this. I think I'm just going to go straight ahead with trying to get as much done with the Tomb Raider remasters. Uh, and then we can sort of like not have to worry that much about like going back and forth between that and Final Fantasy Rebirth when that comes out. But I don't know. Depends on how much I stream and you know how long those streams go on for. So... We'll see, because they are sort of long games to get through, and as uh, we've seen with the night stream, uh, yeah, having some trouble recalling the specifics of what needs to be done. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for now. Let's see. Let's see if anybody is streaming that I want to raid. Eh these guys fairly recently so don't want to overdo it seems needy uh but I, we'll just call it here but anyway thank you guys for hanging out appreciate you all good chatting with you and uh yeah i think sometime this weekend probably a sunday stream we'll pick this back up and do a little bit more maybe we can get to tibet hopefully but you guys take care have a good night see you next time